Hi everybody, it's Bill Black at Spirit River. I'm back again to tie a CDC elk caddis. The cool thing about this caddis is it's kind of like a basic elk caddis with a really nice CDC underwing and some CDC hackle on it. I have a little different way of doing the hackling than what you're going to see a lot of the Europeans do. So let's get started and I'll explain it as we go. This is a size 12 hook. I'm going to go ahead and put a underbody of thread. Next I'm going to take a little bit of our fine and dry and I'm going to use some olive. These are just the colors that I have on hand at the fly tying table so you can make these in a lot of cool colors like brown, tan, black. Fine and dry is a very nice, very small diameter um, material that gives you a really tight body and the water won't penetrate that so it uh, really adds a lot of flotation. Next we're going to do a CDC um, hackle and what I've done is I've already matched these feathers up from a previous fly I just tied and what you do is you go in with your with your scissors and you clip the stem and not the rest of the feather which creates kind of a V you can stack two three four five CDC feathers like that then I squeeze them together and I just kinda of go in with my scissors by my fingers and give it a little nip so they're nice and even but there again you've got nice even CDC V that I'm going to lay right on top and you can kind of measure how far you want those on there. I lay those down and I take one loose wrap and I cinch it up and I go around three or four times. And if you'll notice it gives us a, the legs sticking out on that caddis. You want quite a bit of CDC on this caddis. Next I'm going to go in and trim that. If you're going to put antenna on, now's the time. They should be going out the other direction. A lot of times on my caddis I will do that. I'm not going to do it right now. Now I'm going to take some CDC puffs. CDC puffs are a much shorter, little tiny, fluffy feather. And I match those up, uh, particularly by the tips. And what I want to do, I lick my fingers a little bit. And that shows me the little underwing that I'm going to put on this. So again, if you look at this, you'll see I'm putting that little underwing on there. That's going to go underneath the elk wing that I'm going to do. This adds a ton of buoyancy. The elk wing, of course, adds a lot of silhouette and add a lot of flotation to it. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of elk hair. I'm going to take that and clean out all the under fibers. You want to get all that little fluff out of there, which is partly what keeps that elk warm. This is probably way too much hair, so I'm kind of measuring that out. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead now and drop it in a stacker. See how it worked. Oh, it worked. I love these things. So, I've got a beautiful little stacked elk wing. I want this to go to right about the end of the hook. I'm going to go around with one loose wrap and then I'm going to put a whole bunch of other wraps on it. Before I let go of that front, I'm going to pull it all forward. I'm going to go in here and nip it. So now I've trimmed off all those butts except for one. Let me get in there and get that guy. And then I'm going to go back a little bit in this direction. <clears throat> Take my thumbnail and I kind of scoot it. Now I've taken my thread with one wrap and gone up underneath the eye. I hold the hook, I take my thread and I whip finish that 
right underneath that eye. It's a little bit hard for me to see because if we put a really good light here for me to tie, it really doesn't show up very well on the video. But anyway, there you have a little CDC elk caddis. Um, underneath, it's got a little fine and dry body. It's got your heavy-duty V-wing CDC. It's got an underwing of gray CDC underneath the, uh, the elk wing. And I think that's about it. Um, you'll have fun tying this fly and fishing it. Anyway, this is Bill Black. Thanks for watching. Take care.